Welcome back to Mike Up a Shut Up. As always, I'm Chris here with Angie, Reagan, and Bodie, and technical support Reese. Uh, today is episode number seven, which I believe is what's known as uh, Baker's Half Dozen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. That's, that's not correct. <laughs> no. Yes. I thought, I thought, no. Uh, what do you mean? Yes. I thought Baker's no were Baker's Half Dozen. Oh my gosh! I thought bakers were really joke. bad at math. I was they talking are, about. I was, really I was like the guy. That, they always add one too yeah. many. Is that is that oh, not correct? When they get it right, you're like, yes. Oh okay, gotcha. What's oh, that makes sense though. <laughs> See, I was thinking half a baker's dozen would be like a whole, <laughs> not even the right whole number. But you're saying a baker's half dozen. That's a different thing than a half a baker's dozen. Correct. Okay. No, bakers are just bad at math. They always add one too many. Right. right. Uh, I follow. Yes. I'm following. Yeah. I'm tracking. Right. Picking up what you're putting right. down. I thought they didn't even use numbers. I thought they did like a dash and a pinch and, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Hmm. Bake, baking is actually very uh, scientific, by the way. It's very, it has to be precise with the ingredients. Okay. You, you might not know that, but it is, it is a real deal. Okay. Very true. So today we are going to mostly talk about movies, which was actually not my idea. Correct. It was your idea. Yeah, yeah. It was. Surprisingly, I actually wanted to suggest that as a topic, but I thought nah, nobody else would want to do it. But then you surprised me. Well, right? I, I want to support you, buddy. Oh. I want to hold you up and caress you like the beautiful <laughs> doll that you are. He's a fucking gremlin. That's why uh, you're my best friend. That's right. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> and Bodie and I wanted to bring good movies up. Sure. Yeah. We can't well, let people just look at your, what do you call the closed caption movies that you want them to watch that people ain't even speaking English and they're found in the basement of some Spanish kid's, you know, house. And, and people want to know, they want to know what movies are really good. Not just things that you dug down in the crevice of your butthole to, <laughs> to pull out. Right? Correct. So that's why this topic is important. We have to get out some real movies. Hey, we'll let the audience decide. Once again, the audience will decide who has the best taste. I wish they would. I wish they would, though. We We actually want them to comment on some things and tell us some stuff. Because I want them to to be able to imagine when we have 200,000 viewers and 184,000 people are saying, Chris, oh my God, your movies are terrible. How is that going to alter the way you think? It's going to make me think, God damn, there's 184,000 people out there that don't have taste in movies. Right. I figured that that's what it would make you think. I figured that. So really, you don't have to tell us. No, 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 one, yeah, no one will deter You're me. You're not going to alter. Yeah. I like that's it. Right. That's right. Hey, you know what you know. Right. And, and I know and I'm right. Know and I know I'm you know right. He does not know everything. Okay. We know According this. According to the poll, I do not know everything. That's correct. Did he get a lot of hell no's? He did. He did. Yes. 100% hell no, in fact. <laughs> and even his best to be friend. Fair, it was only three people, but it's still 100%. <laughs> Sad part is, is one of his best friends is one of the, is one of the hell no's. So I guess uh, before we get going with the movies, let me go ahead and give an update on a subject we talked on. Uh, I think it was the second episode, which was the uh, 7 Eleven. FAFO video, the guy that uh, tried to steal cigarettes and then took an ass whooping. So they were going, they were thinking of pressing charges against the two 7-Eleven workers, but I guess uh, public outrage made them change their mind. So there will be no charges pressed against the two 7-Eleven employees. And the gentleman who attempted to steal the cigarettes uh, is now in jail and he's being held there uh, until trial. No bond. No, no bond for him. He's stuck. So, so justice is uh, being served. Mm. And no charges on the shop no, owners no, no, who no, defended their property. That's correct. Yep. Lovely. Right. I think uh, As it should be. That's right. That's exactly right. Yeah, I think they, they realize that if they press charges, there's going to be a an outcry from the public that they didn't want to have to deal with. So Good. Yep. One step at a time. And what take, else take you got? Back. What other update? Uh, update? I guess there? we could. I guess we can go. Since we're talking about movies, I guess we can go ahead and update on the uh, Hollywood strike. Oh yeah, yeah. Which, uh, as we predicted, is working in the uh, studio's favor because um, people are starting to get evicted from their homes, starting to have trouble paying their bills, and uh, something that's actually really pissing me off about this is that um, 
they are pushing to have a bill passed in California that would allow the actors and the writers who are on strike to get unemployment benefits. What? Yeah. Because they're, yeah, they're running out of money. So if this bill passes, people who voluntarily are not going to work will get unemployment benefits. Wow. Yeah, because people who are on strike don't get unemployment benefits, obviously. Correct. But so this new bill, I can't remember what it's 799. called. 799. 799, yeah. They, okay. uh, if that bill passes, they will be able to get unemployment benefits. But you can't even get unemployment benefits if you quit a job. Well. So, yeah. Welcome to California. That's why I don't live well, there. Well, yeah, correct. Correct, yeah. So there was there's a guy, uh, <clears throat> that, I mean, they're just not getting it. But, of course, if they get unemployment benefits, then, uh, this, you know. So there's a guy named Raphael Sbarge, I think is how you pronounce his last name. And he's one of those actors that he's in every fucking thing that's ever been made. And everybody will recognize his face but not know his name. There's a bunch of actors like that. But, I mean, this guy's been an actor since I was a kid. You know, he's been in a million things. I mean, I like him. He's a good actor. He, he's he. His persona in the movies is like, he's like uh, what they call the everyman. You know, he just, he comes across as just a normal, regular Joe reacting to whatever circumstances are in the movie. You know, that's usually his role. And uh, he's actually been in a lot of stuff. I mean, even up till today, he's still acting in, well, until the strike happened, he was, I mean, he's been like in, you know, some of the NCIS series. He's like the Blacklist, Fear of the Walking Dead, you know, Law and Order series. I mean, he's a lot of modern stuff, but he was also in a lot of movies. Like he was in Risky Business. With Tom Cruise, uh, he was in uh, Prison for Children with John Ritter. He was in a uh, Billionaire Boys Club with Judd Nelson. So he's made a lot of money. He's, he's he, right. He's made a lot of money, which he claims he's like ah. And he's in um, being interviewed on a podcast called uh, Serial for Midnight. Serial mm-hmm. at Midnight. No, sir. Oh, Serial at Midnight. Excuse me. Sir, yes. Excuse me. Hey, off the cuff. How many times I gotta say it? So like Off the breakfast cup. cereal, right? Cereal, cereal at midnight. midnight. Cereal at midnight. Okay. Um, and the guy talks about uh, you know, physical media, and just Hollywood in general, making movies. You know, he does a lot of interviews with with you know famous people, directors from like old you know made old movies stuff like that. So he's interviewing uh, Raphael about uh, different things. You know how how just how Hollywood works in general, I guess. And uh, so he asked him about the actor strike and. He goes on record as saying that, you know, he doesn't have a lot of money. He's not a millionaire, which maybe he's not. But there's no way. I looked him up on IMDb, and it says that he's been, as an actor, he's been in 180 projects. Sure. He's directed 10 projects, and he's been a producer on 10 projects. That's a lot of things. That is a lot of things. To, to do. So, and so. Now you wouldn't think that every man is going to get millions and millions. No, I'm not right? saying. So, right. So it's possible that he's not as wealthy as other people might think he is. Sure. I mean, obviously, he doesn't have as much money as, say, Tom Cruise. Right. Obviously not. But but over those projects and that number of projects and that, that amount of work that he's put in, you would think that he would have made a significant he's amount of money. He's comfortable. He's got to be comfortable. Right? Yeah. Okay. So he was saying that. Uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of money like people think, and you know most actors don't have a whole lot of money, which is probably true. Most the majority of actors probably don't have millions of dollars. I, I don't dispute that. Sure, but the majority of yeah, actors yeah. are probably waitresses in right, a diner that's correct. somewhere. That's correct. <laughs> but he was saying, you know, again, he was harping on the whole uh, they don't make enough money for health insurance, that whole health insurance thing, which I guess. I guess they think that saying that will make them appear to be like the average Joe. Mm-hmm. Except that the average Joe, like I've said before, works their ass off and then still can't afford health insurance. So pretending to be a cop one week and a serial killer the next week, you know, and a cowboy the next week and not being able to afford health insurance doesn't really pull at my heartstrings. No, it doesn't make you people know. care. Yeah, that's why That's why no one gives a shit that Hollywood's on mm-hmm. strike. Yep. Just like I mean, we said before, no one cares. No one cares. So... He was trying to get people to care, I guess. But, I mean, even though I like him as an actor, that's bullshit. You know. Plus, you know he has a decent... He has to have a decent amount of money. There's no fucking way you've been in 180 things and you don't have no fucking money. Well, There's he no could be a way. compulsive gambler. Well, he could be. Yeah, that's true. He could be. Yeah. yeah. Or, he could or he could have spent it all on cocaine and hookers. Right, right, right. <laughs> he could have, yeah. Prostitutes ain't cheap, you know. That's what they say. I guess they could that's be, they but say. then I don't think you really you want, want those. Yeah, you don't want those prostitutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I just want to point out that the strikers have not uh, learned that lesson. And in fact, they're trying to, once again, be better than the average man by being able to get money for not going to work. You know, I don't, if they can get if they get money for not going to work, I don't know how they're going to get people on their side. 
You know, wow. that's not gonna. Can you imagine movie actors and TV actors on unemployment? Can you imagine that? In California, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, California is like La La Land. It's, right. It's a fantasy world, but it's just mind blowing to me. You know, when you said the word money just now, something popped into my head, and. I wanted to ask you if you heard about it or if you've seen anything about mm-hmm. it. And this is not really on topic at all, but I, right. I just wanted to ask you about it because it popped into my head. So we had a conversation about Maui, and we talked yes. about the fires and the burning and stuff. Well, since that has happened, we talked also, I don't think we talked about it on the show, but we no. talked about it in just you and I. Yeah. And... We talked about the government's response to that situation and how it was definitely subpar. And I saw recently that a billionaire with a B (laughs) and a multi-millionaire got together to (laughs) beg people for money to send to Maui. Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne The Rock Johnson are making TikTok videos and Instagram videos and Facebook reels asking people to donate money to their cause so that they can send it to Maui. And people are mad. Of course they are. (laughs) Because you're a billionaire with a B and a millionaire, and you're asking us, the people who are out here struggling in the street, to send you money so that you can make some kind of donation to the cause and put your name on it. Right. What the hell is wrong with these people, dude? That's right. So then people start putting in, out these reaction videos to this video, mm-hmm. and they start saying, have you lost your mind? <laughs> so they get word that all of the people are angry that they're asking for this money. So they, they put out a response to that and say, oh, well, we've committed $10 million to the cause already. Yeah, that's not your $10 million. That's right. You've committed $10 million, and now you're asking us to give you the money to put towards that $10 million so that you can send it to them and say that it's your $10 million. It's so bonkers, dude. It's so crazy that a billionaire and a millionaire would get together and think they could ask us poor, broke-ass people Uh, for money. It just illustrates how out of touch they are. Completely. I'm, I'm positive that what happened was those two people said, we are so awesome. (laughs) <laughs> that if we ask people to give money, they will definitely right. do it. We can just use our personality yep. and our platform to get these people to donate money to us, and then we can help this situation. Right. Instead of and just pulling out the your credit. goddamn checkbook and writing a check to the people that need your help. I thought rich people used to just throw parties and ask their rich friends to write checks for stuff. Oh yeah, like but that. that's that's when they got causes for themselves. Right. You see. Things uh, that benefit like them. Like political yeah. action stuff. Oh, we want to get this guy elected, so everybody come over and pay a thousand dollars a plate for a you know spaghetti dinner. Yes. And then we'll get him elected. Right. That's when it benefits them. But when it benefits the regular people, oh no, they're not about to do all that. <laughs> gotcha. That's right. Yeah. It's o- just wild. Oprah has enough money to literally rebuild the entire town herself correct yeah she really could and it wouldn't hurt her that bad. no and it would, yeah, she, yeah she could literally rebuild the entire island yep she could buy them an island have it moved and replace maui altogether okay slow yeah well 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 <laughs> slow, slow, probably slow down, down man yeah. does slow down, she have Cuban. property on hawaii though she know. does no yeah. doubt yeah. no doubt yeah her and Dwayne and rock johnson yeah. both yeah they have hawaii uh, properties. Oh, so that's they why they're doing it. Yeah, they don't want to pay for their own repairs. They don't, well, yeah, they don't, I don't think they, they don't. need repairs. They have fences and shit all around theirs. Plus, they also hired private security when all of this stuff came about, and they they built big old fences and they got fire elimination. Like they're they're protected. They're fine. They've always been fine. They have fireproof fences. They got people standing in the yard with a hose that they pay in a hundred dollars an hour. I mean. <laughs> I mean, oh, okay. Can whatever it job? takes. They don't. It doesn't matter. When you got money, you're good. Yep. That's the reality. There it is. But yeah. anyway, I don't know no. why that struck me when you said something well, about the actors, we're talking about actors money. Yeah. Man, it just struck me because I yeah. remembered that I saw it on Facebook Reels or something yep. the other day, and I was 
I was blown away. No, yeah, this couldn't so, even imagine. They're so fucking retarded. I mean, oh, I'm not supposed to say that word. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Wait, what were you told to say? Uh, you mentally oh, right? yeah, my friend said. Uh, my friend Ashton said that because uh, he listened to the episode and he said that we should say mentally debuffed. <laughs> <laughs> To not mentally offend people. Debuffed. To not offend people. I love it. So, yeah, I'll say mentally challenged. I mean, generation. I'm just so yeah, but it's a gamer's world now. No, that's you have right. To say debuff. That's right. Yep. Yeah, I'm so used to saying things that offend people. It just comes out. I'm trying to rein myself we know, in. Who the hell with it. The hell I don't with care it. if you're offended. The hell you go with away. It. You know. Honestly, in Louisiana, that word is tossed around like candy. Yep. Well, there's good reason why that word is tossed around yeah, like candy. Because there's a lot of retards. <laughs> And because we live next to Mississippi. <laughs> well, fighting words. that's bound well, to happen when you when you marry your sister. You're probably going to yeah. have a retard baby. Yeah. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't need people from Mississippi listening to this podcast anyway. <laughs> right? We were not after your viewership or, uh, you know, listenership anyway, Mississippi folks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, so let's. Uh, do we want to go ahead and get on topic, or uh, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. But uh, who wants to? Uh, who wants to go first? We, we decide. So we decide. Oh, go, yeah, go ahead. I thought that we would come up with this this topic to discuss all our favorite movies, and maybe the listener would pick something in and out of the movie, uh, the things that we discuss, and say, "Hey, that, I haven't seen that, or I haven't seen this, or I have seen it, but I'd like to see it again, or whatever." So maybe there's something. That they can get out of it. So we each were told to get a list of our top five movies. And we came here tonight with that list. So right. now it's up to you in what order we would discuss. Do you want to do one person with a, the list at a time? Or do you want to do a... Yeah, let's do one person with a okay. list at a time. And then we can discuss the list. All I right. think Bodhi should go first. Because I think he is the only person who actually came up with just five movies. Oh, right. Yeah. I ha- yeah. Really? Because it feels like about six. Well, yes, the we, least. We, yeah, we all, all well, the rest of us have like 10. Yeah, well, I have five of my, well, the top five, and then I have some honorable mentions that are awesome, but I didn't put in the top five. And she same. did the same. Yeah. So did Reagan. So. No, no, I don't have a top five. I just have a bunch of movies I like. Okay, right. well, I will, I will go first. I don't mind. You will notice that mine have a certain theme. And I'm sure that uh, most people probably, or if they were to pick their top five movies, they would also have a theme. You know, you have what you like, and then you have the things that you don't like. Um, we start with mine at number five. <laughs> well, no, I guess I'll go number six is U-571, which is the submarine movie, uh, World War II type situation. Really, really good movie. I, the only reason it's that low on my list is because I think they got a little extensive with the depth charging and the explosions kind of got old after the first 30 minutes. <laughs> is Matthew, so, oh, I'm sorry. Is Matthew McConaughey in that? Is that who's in it? Uh, that is correct. Is it? Oh, yeah. look at this yeah. guy. That is correct. Quite a it's got, yeah, it's got Bill Paxton. I just, remember, yeah. I just yeah. remember Matthew McConaughey. But yeah, he's the main character. Oh, yeah. Right? He's the captain guy, right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that was really good. But... Right along that line, number five is Crimson Tide, which is another submarine movie with Gene Hackman. Yes. Man, that's one of the good ones. Is yeah. That, yeah, really good. Denzel Washington's in that also. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. very good. And that's when they fight over the, you know, yeah, the control of, control the, of yep. the nuclear yep. submarine. And, yep. You know, it makes you think a little bit about <laughs> the weapons that this country possesses and who's actually at the controls, you know. Mm. You never know. No, that's right. You know, that's right. Some, some, it, something like that could actually happen. So anyway, that's an interesting one. This one is kind of off theme, but it's so classic and so great. The Goonies. Yes. Who don't remember the Truffle Shuffle? <laughs> right? Or Booty Traps. Man, I love me some Booty Traps. <laughs> right? Good movie, The Goonies. You, really, you like The Goonies? Mm-hmm. They yeah. never say die. Yes. The Goonies are great. Down here, it's our time. <laughs> Down here, <laughs> who doesn't? That was great, man. It was great. Okay, then Avatar, obviously the first one. That was a, immediately James Cameron blew everyone away with the cinematography in that particular movie. It was unreal. We watched the first one in 3D, yep. and I never saw a movie in 3D like that before in my life. 
it was absolutely next level 3D. That is correct. Number two, Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick. Both of them are great. I can't decide which one I like more. This is, we talked about sequels before. Yes. And how the sequel is almost never as good as the prequel. <laughs> the original. The original. Yeah. But this one, man, have you seen Top Gun Maverick? Yeah, hated it. What? My yeah. kids watch oh my it almost God, daily. Oh my God, dude, it was great. How did you hate it? Well, because it is a uh, low-key remake of Star Wars. That's why. What? The original Star Wars. Oh, me like out. shooting the missile down the yeah, hole and exactly, thing, right? yeah, running the star, running the trench, diving. Yeah, it's, it's oh my Star Wars. God. It's Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> it's Star Wars. This guy. Yeah. Anyway, I thought they were both really good. The original probably edged out the second one, in my opinion. The original is good. It's just, you know, the story yeah. as old as time. Number one. I didn't have. I, I split number one too. Number one is a combination. I have two number ones. Full Metal Jacket and Apocalypse Now. So, obviously, throughout mine, you can see that there's a military (laughs) engagement theme. I love things to go boom. I like to watch (laughs) shit blowing up. Explosions, action, drama. Right. Is your Apocalypse Now the theatrical version or the director's cut? No, it's the one with the dude. What's the dude's name? It's uh, theatrical version. Nobody yeah. watches director's cut except him. Yeah. Yeah. Normal people don't it's watch director's cut. Oh, you it's the same movie. Yeah, it's just got more scenes in it. I can't, yeah, and then no, they I'm, talk about it. I mean, I'm really that bad now. I'm people are going to hate me because I can't remember the guy's name. What guy? The guy guy. The, that I love it? the smell of napalm in the morning guy. I can't remember his name, and I know he's super famous. What's his name? The guy uh, from... Like uh, Robert Brando Duvall. Or something. Robert Duvall. Robert Duvall. Robert Duvall. Oh, I thought you were talking about the guy that... No, I was talking no, about the, the guy, actor, guy. The actor. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's in Full Metal Jacket. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't realize that. You're talking about Duvall. Private Fire. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. That dude is D'Onofrio. a genius. Yeah, yes. yes he is a genius. He Who's is a genius? Acting. D'Onofrio? Yeah, I think he's an amazing actor. Well... Apparently, we, she thinks it takes a lot of skill to pull off a... Retard. He, he has done <laughs> it the does. several it does. It does. different it characters, does. and I think he is amazing. The Cell is one of my, and I liked him in Law and Order: Criminal Intent. Mm-hmm. He was my favorite character. I mean, he's I done mean, anybody can people. go on trying my best. I mean, that's right? that's not something that takes a lot of acting skills. He's also in my he, opinion, he, he does that every day. He pulls oh, off he was, he was retard. The guy, <laughs> and he was. Uh, <laughs> oh, she's speechless. He was also in The Cell. The have, you seen the cell? I haven't before? seen it in a long time. I don't that really was remember. a creepy damn movie. Yeah. It was so creepy. This is my rifle. This is my gun. <laughs> this is for fighting. This is for fun. You know which one is which? <laughs> <laughs> I do. You do? Okay. Mm-hmm. I was just checking. So that's my list. I have to say, now, that's not a bad it's, list. It's that's a pretty solid a list. You don't like at least I don't least like Goonies. Two I don't like them. Goonies. What? Really, that's the only and one? I don't like uh, Maverick. Maverick. But the rest of them, I'm on so Why do you not like the Goonies? I mean, it doesn't because, have to be a favorite Because movie, I have but... testicles. I also have testicles. Well, Large ones. Yeah. It's not what I was, <laughs> that's not what I was told. I mean, it's No, no. <laughs> they, the testicles are quite large. Yeah, oh, oh, I don't it's know. all beans and gotcha, Frank. Gotcha, that's gotcha, how it works. Gotcha. <laughs> all right, that's that wasn't too bad. That that wasn't too bad of a list. It's a good list. Yep. Who's next? We'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and go with spouse around the so we'll Reagan. Around can, uh, the Reagan here. can give her a list. Okay. Well, if I'm gonna start with old movies, I guess Tootsie. Hey, I'm with you. I mean, it just I don't know. It was just a great movie. Period. That's, that's, is that Dustin Hoffman? Yes. That is Dustin Hoffman, yes. Yeah, okay. Jessica Lange. That is, that is. Mm. Before there was Mrs. Chef's Doubtfire, kiss. there was Tootsie. That's right. Never seen it. Oh my God, I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> never Did seen you it. really never see Tootsie? I've never seen I, well, it. What kind of husband am, are you, Chris? Te- well, I'm telling you, I, if, if there was, I, I don't know how many movies she hasn't seen. She's not like me. She didn't grow up watching movies. So it's, it's I've made Tootsie. her, I've made her watch a lot of things. I guess now when we get home, I got to make her watch Tootsie. Yep, you're going home and watch yep. it tonight. <sighs> yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, Stand by me. All right. Definitely. Okay. Also, I've never seen that. Stop. Oh, stop talking. My God. <laughs> stop. Stop I, I've saying read this, things. I've read the um, the story that it's based on, though, and I know about the leeches, and I know you know all about that and everything, and you know I know what it's based on, 
and I know who's in it, but I've never seen it. I wasn't allowed to watch those kind of movies. I'm also going to tell you that You're I grown haven't... up now. <laughs> yeah, but... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have an unpopular opinion. I don't like that movie at all. That's but you've seen it. I've seen it. Okay. It's long. It's slow. And nothing I ever could, happens. I can see why you don't boring. like it. I mean, I understand why you don't right? like it. Sure. I understand okay. why you don't like it. No, I have no problem with I like my life. I have a problem with her like never it. seeing it. Like, that just That would be remedied. Me. That would be remedied. <laughs> okay. Um... I will always love Steel Magnolias. Yes. And Annie as a musical. Love that one. Uh, and the Rocky movies. Classic. All of them? Uh, well, yeah. all of the original ones. When he what? got, like, when he. So the first three. Yeah, the first three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's about right. Yeah. Up until the After Russian. After three. Yeah, got the Russian three, one is three. when it started to go downhill. That is correct. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, now, uh, if we're talking about, like, Rec- more recent, it you know, matter. past yeah. childhood. Um, Deadpool. I love Ryan Reynolds, and he was just hilarious in Deadpool. I love that movie. It's hilarious. Um, I love pretty much anything in Night Shyamalan. My two favorite movies of his would probably be The Sixth Sense and Knock at the Cabin. Although I pretty much love all of his movies, except probably The Happening. That one disappointed. That movie sucked, that's why. That movie disappointed mm-hmm. a lot. I saw that movie for free and I felt like I got ripped off. Right. A couple of his movies made yeah. me feel like right. I got ripped off. Did you yeah. see The Beach? Is it The Beach or something yeah, like that? Yeah, that one sucked. Oh, also. yeah. Old. Old. Yeah, old. That one sucks yeah. as well. I, so I liked it though because I liked the... Did you like crappy movies? The, the plot. Bruh, did you see the old woman in the cave with the... Uh, no, I had, I had enough sense to know not to watch that movie. It was so terrible. So yeah. garbage. Yeah. So go. Well, yeah. that's okay. I liked it. He lost me at the happening. I, I swore I would never watch another one of his movies. Mm-hmm. Did you yeah. watch Knock at the Cabin? No, because I already know it's crap. Okay. Well, I was surprised. It was very different. So he blew everyone away with the six. No, six, he blew everyone right? away. Right? Yes. You have to admit yep. that I didn't see, nobody I didn't saw see that the twist coming. coming. I didn't see Nobody the twist. saw it coming. Yep. When it was all over with, we were like, oh my God. That's unreal. And then they started <laughs> to show you all of the clues that you should have picked up on. It's amazing. We actually went and saw that with uh, your mom, remember? Yep. And I screamed, holy fuck, in the middle of the movie theater <laughs> yeah, yeah. with your mom. Yeah. Chris's I mom, see dead people. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So which one of yours is number one? Number I, one. I don't think I have a number one. I honestly don't. I like a lot of movies. Say Tootsie. Just say Tootsie. I think I'm going to force you. Yeah. To pick a number one, to stand up and pick a number one, even though I pick two number ones. <laughs> mic, mic up and pick a number one. That's yeah, right. I don't think I can. I'm sorry. Tootsie. I don't think Tootsie I... is your number one. I'm telling you what it is. It's Tootsie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she can make up her mind. Well, she can't. No, I don't think I have a favorite movie. She's non-committal. Right. Yeah, I've only been married 26 years, but I can't commit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I don't want to view you two go. Oh, I can't wait to hear she, Angie because well, she hasn't seen half the movies on the planet. No, right, right, Angie. Good point. Let's Where hear your it. list. Let's, let's hear it. Blow us away. I don't know if it's going to blow anybody away, but my number one, or just at the top of the list, is Practical Magic. <laughs> I saw that the other night. She likes chick flicks. Not well, all. She not is all a chick, her, so it makes sense. Not all of mine are chick flicks. Um, my uh, next one is Blast from the Past, Brendan Fraser. Uh... Alicia Silverstone, right? Yep. You know what? I actually, uh, if she wants to watch that, I'm actually not too upset. That's all right. That movie's okay. Chris Wa- Christopher, Christopher Walken's, Walken's in it. it. Christopher uh, Walken's in it. Spacek's in it. Sir Walken. Yes. Um, my next one is Sleepy Hollow, Johnny Depp, Christina Ricci. All right. I can handle that. <laughs> uh, my next one is two M. Night Shyamalan movies. Yes. Together. I'm all with you. Say whatever ones you want. Um, the Village. Yes. Because nobody expected it. However, it was. It was good. It was. Um, Lady in the Water. Yes, also a good one. Um, a little I comic have... book twist to it. Sure. Yep. North by Northwest. Classic Alfred Hitchcock movie. Fantastic. It's one of my. I can watch it all the time. Have you ever seen that? that Never. Is, that, is is a, that is so a good. Great, Cary Grant. Great oh. movie. Yeah, that is. East Saint. Um, what's her name? East Saint Marie. Is yeah. it even in color? Yeah. Yes. It, it, yes, it is in yeah, color. It's in color. It's yeah. If I were picking, you know, top. Alfred Hitchcock movies, that's right up there at the top. That might even be number one. Yes. That's a great movie. 
It's very, very good. And yet she hasn't seen Stand By Me. That's I don't know. I like Alfred First Hitchcock all, Presents. Yeah. Oh, I used to watch Dude, that. Yes. The Twilight those. Zone. Yes. Oh, that was the shit. Yeah, those were great. Why don't yeah. they do that anymore? Why don't people do little short stories like that anymore? Tales from the Crypt. Remember that? Oh, yes. my God. I love yes. Tales from the Crypt. Yes. I love Tales from the Crypt. So, Sorry. I have I honorable to... mentions as well. Um, Ghostbusters. Classic. The it's original. Like, yes, the original. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not the remake. Um, we just want to make sure we're putting it out there for the people to know. <laughs> People who say retard every five minutes are not going to like the reboot of Ghostbusters. I think everyone <laughs> everyone realizes that. I never right. even watched the reboot. I um, unfortunately I did. I like Phantom of the Opera with Gerard Butler and Amy Rossum. Yeah. I didn't know Gerard Butler could sing. Look, I never saw it, so I can't you judge. T- well, Tanner loves it. You, you haven't seen it? I can't believe. Tanner it. watches Top Gun Maverick weekly. I'm just saying she likes it. So too. I'm just saying yep. you can't have it both ways. Also, um, anytime somebody's singing in a movie, I'm pretty much out. I yeah, understand. Chris hated it. <laughs> Although, come on, let's admit that you secretly love the Pitch Perfect movies. <laughs> okay, I did. You know, oh. it is it is it's bad for me to say, but I really enjoyed the Pitch Perfect movies. I don't know why. It's guilty pleasure. Yeah, maybe they weren't. That's right. It's a guilty pleasure. May, maybe it's it's, yeah, it pleasure. is. It, it's not something that I would definitely not admit to my p- good friends. You know, cause right. Well, guess what? I hate to you just did. <laughs> Unless your good friends don't support you on this podcast. There's a movie I was gonna put on my list, and Chris actually liked it, and it is a um, rock and roll opera. Repo the Genetic Opera. Oh, Repo, yeah. He likes that movie. I do like it's that It's very movie. gory. Very, I do very like gory. Movie, yeah. um, but it's not on my list. Yeah. Um, Oblivion with Tom Cruise and Morgan Freeman. That sounds familiar, but I don't know if I've ever yeah, seen, I've it. seen it. So good. Yeah, it's good. Um, Empire Records. Oh, that is a good one. Mm-hmm. That is a good one. Um, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I love, I could watch them constantly. We you watched did? The Hobbit ones. We also watched Lord of the Rings. The, yeah, the, I mean, the they're Hobbit. good, but... Our tech guy is one of his... It's some I'm of just, his favorite not, movies. Not my Yay. top, is the, all I'm the saying. The Hobbit trilogy is a step down yeah. from the Lord of the Rings movies, in my opinion. Um, it was still good, though. No, they're, they're okay, but, but they're nowhere near the quality of the original Lord of the Rings. Um, I have 200 cigarettes, which we have already done on the podcast. Which we recommended, yes. And my last one, is y'all gonna hate. Um, Beauty and the Beast, it's a French version done in 2014. With Vincent Cassell and Leah Sidhu in it, mm-hmm. he hates it, and you—it's ha- subtitled. Um, oh my god! But the colors are just it. so That's fantastical, it. and it's just—I love it. It's just great. Okay. I think he looks great as a beast. I hate it because it's just a crappy movie. Crap. Yeah. Just, <laughs> like most of just, the ones that just, she just listed. Just pure doo doo. <laughs> you know what? Pure I don't doo-doo. have the same requirements that Chris has. I watch movies to enjoy them. Yes. And to just. Take myself away uh, either from work or bullshit or whatever. That is also yes. why I watch movies to enjoy them. Whatever. You and if you enjoy roles. them, then no. You if you enjoy them. them, that's right. If you want to waste your time watching mm-hmm. a crappy movie, that is your right as an American. Yeah. You like Sleepy Hollow, so yeah, I do like Sleepy Hollow. Oh, come on, Master. Okay, please so, tell us what. Oh movie yeah, uh, let me. Uh, Here we go let now. Me, let we me, probably have never on. heard of these movies. No, hold on, everyone. I, I need to give a disclaimer. I want everyone to. <laughs> Please understand that the person who is about to give you their list of favorite movies is a complete idiot. <laughs> and by no means does we save the best for last apply right. here. Right. So let us know in the comments what you think of his list when he's done. But be ready to hear some obscure, deep from the basement type movies right. that you've never heard of. You obviously do not know me because I'm about to just blow everyone away with this I'm awesome ready. list of movies. I'm ready. Okay. I can't wait. Do we need a bigger boat? <laughs> oh, we do, in fact. We do need a bigger boat. So I'm going to start with my number one and then we'll work my way down to number five. So best. Well, no, you got to dramatize from the. Oh, he doesn't you want, want you to. Want to see... No, that's not yeah, how Yeah, you I end with a drum roll. I didn't, I didn't... Number one, oh, right? Oh, just do it that way. Okay, fine. <laughs> I didn't tell you how to do your list, but that's fine. <laughs> Okay, my, I'm my, sorry. My I'm plan, so bossy. Well, my, your, my, hi- your hype is, well, is you know, the juice worth squeezed? Obviously, uh, my coup plans to have a Chris Tater ship over this podcast <laughs> need to be put in effect because I don't like being told what to do. I'm sorry. That's I'm all sorry. Right. But you know what? I will. This is a democracy right now, so I will go <laughs> ahead and uh, I'll do it. So I'll start with number five. All right. Number five, which is uh, Steven Spielberg's Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I like it. I've seen it. I enjoy it. Yeah, we watched it the other night, actually, mm-hmm. just coincidentally. Yep. Okay. So I far, I'm not. I'm not real. 
I'm not seeing Chris in these movies seeing, yet. You don't see Chris in Close Encounters of the Third No, no, I'm not seeing the, the Chris that I know about the movie Chris. Interesting, interesting. He's okay. surprised you picked a normal movie. Normal movie. what he's trying right? to say. I'm sure his honorable mentions are going to... Well, these are not supposed to be hidden gems. These are greatest, what I feel are some of the greatest movies ever made. Right. So that's... So that's why they're going to be more popular. They're talks. going to be more popular. More, more well-known movies. Okay, correct. so the movies that you recommend other people to watch are not... Right. My goal with my goal with movie recommendations is not to recommend movies that most people in the world know about. I'm trying to recommend hidden gems that can help people who like movies to broaden their horizon and mm. see things they might not know about. Oh, so you're intentionally digging in the bowels yes, correct. of movie right. theaterism right. to find obscure, ridiculous shit for people to watch. Is, I didn't know that. That is correct. See, that is correct. Now I understand the entirety of the recommendation at the end of the, each episode. Well, there we go. All right. I'm sorry. No, I no, no. Interrupt your. No, feel free know. to interrupt anytime <laughs> you want. That's you know. So uh, close counters, third kind, number five, number four, The Shining. Fantastic. Jack Nicholson. Yep. One of the greatest horror movies ever made. Something also, to, something to be said about Jack Nicholson. Oh one no, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, yeah. That's that, ever yeah, done that. Yeah, job. he's 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 a fantastic actor. Was yeah. a fantastic actor. Yeah. He's, he's dead, right? Is no, he, he has Alzheimer's. Oh, he has Alzheimer's. He has right. Alzheimer's. He has Alzheimer's. He has Alzheimer's. Oh, yeah. so, <laughs> no Funny more. how you didn't yeah. remember that. So, right? uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, look, as we've discussed many times, I'm getting up there, okay? Are you also Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's? So, Alzheimer's? So, uh, I could be. So, number three, The Godfather. Mm. The, the masterpiece, The Godfather. The, also, the trilogy or just the original? No, no, I'm not, I don't know where y'all came up with, uh, I'm going to put four movies in as a one movie. No, no, uh, The Godfather. Now, I like all three. The third one, I like the least for multiple of reasons. But uh, one and two, definitely fantastic. Some people argue that Godfather 2 is the greatest movie ever made. But I, I was kind of putting rewatchability in, to, you know. Rewatchability. Yeah, that has to be a factor in what is the greatest movie ever made. So, I, so The Godfather for me. I've watched that movie so many times. Love it. I love it. Yep. Number two, 1933, King Kong, the original King Kong. Black and white, stop motion, all day. <laughs> one of the great, one of the greatest is. movies ever made. There's the Chris that I was waiting for. I will admit, <laughs> hey. I do enjoy it. It's 1933. It's, yeah, 1933, King Kong. Yep. One of the greatest movies ever made. I was it a silent agree. movie? No. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my did it have god. Charlie oh Chaplin my god. with the little mustache? Uh, no, it did not. No, it did not. <laughs> well, we only asked because neither one of us felt the need to put it in years with our movie. Well, I have to say years because, because there's multiple King, King Kong's, Kong's been done 74 yeah, times. Yeah, but he said the original. There's only well, one original. Well, Just saying. 1933. He also likes the 1970s. I like 60s. all versions of King Kong, but. Except for 30, King Kong versus. Yeah, well, not. Yeah, yeah that's, not, that's not King Kong. Yeah, that's not really that's not King, King Kong. Kong. But uh, 33, that is the best one, in, in my opinion. Did you see the Kong Island? Uh, unfortunately. That's not a good one. No, right? that is not a good one. But okay, good. Yeah. I'm glad. So I like I like 33 Kong, 76 Kong, and 2005 Kong. Yeah, I like the one where, you know, he's... Uh, 76. Jessica Lange. Yes, thank you. Oh, Jessica Lange. I did like that. That's, that's a weird... Let yeah, me tell you, the way he looks at her no, no. whenever she's wet... And he blows on her. It's so there is a, there is a strong, hey man, What just happened? There is a strong bestiality element in the 76 Kong. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, rewatch that movie. There it is, is a, there so is a strange, uncomfortably awkward. A lot of people acknowledge this. It's not just me and her pulling something out of our ass. This is a weird, there's a weird bestiality undercurrent throughout that whole movie. It's very strange. But Like the heroine wants to have sex right, with Right, like beast? she's getting off whenever I he's blowing on her. I thought that that was pretty her. much it's, a part of the storyline in all of the Kong no, movies. No, no. That's no, not really, not, the, that's not really the beast it. doesn't fall he in love, love with, with the heroine. But I mean, like, but Jessica Lang in that movie, like, like whenever she falls, you know, he drops her at the waterfall and he picks her back up and he blows on her to dry her off. She's like getting off on it, and there's a whole, there's a whole and thing where he catches her again and she's all, yeah, she's, you could, you know, whenever he's on the ship, flushed. and yeah, she gets all excited. Yeah, it's a whole, yeah, it's a whole weird thing Very going weird. on. Very yeah. weird. What if she's just a bad actress? No, that was intentional. That was intentional. It's a strange, it's a strange thing, but I still like the movie. I still like okay. that. Okay, all right. But anyway, uh, okay, number one, greatest movie, greatest movie ever made, in my opinion, and everybody who knows me already knows this answer, and yes. that is Jaws, Steven Spielberg's classic Jaws. Mm -hmm. That is, in my opinion, the greatest movie ever made. It's the most rewatchable movie ever made. Okay. In and fact, you think that that's a, that's a quality that a, that a, the number one movie must have? Yes. Rewatchability. That's correct. Yep. So if it doesn't it have that quality, then it's, yeah, then it's no not right. on that list. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
In fact, uh, a fun story to illustrate that point is uh, when I was a teenager, I used to raise birds, cockatiels and parakeets and things. And my uncle had built me uh, four uh, flight cages that you could walk into. And uh, these four flight cages were connected and there was like a little foyer <clears throat> where, you, you know, it was a, it was a safety catch in case uh, one of the birds got out of the, of the cage, they would, they would be trapped. There was another door, you know, at the foyer that would, that would stop them from being able to escape completely. So, uh, I'm, when I, I don't know, I think I was 13 and, uh, Reagan and I, you know, we're teenagers, we're arguing with each other as we do. And I can't remember why, but she she went into the cage. Like I was in the cage, you know, feeding my birds and stuff. And she went in the cage with me. So I get out. I'm like, okay, Reagan, I'm done. Come on, get out. And for some reason we're arguing, she doesn't want to get out. So I'm like, Reagan, I'm not fooling around. Get out of the cage or I'm going to lock you in there. And, you know, being teenagers, she was like, you're not going to tell me what to do. I'm not getting out. So I was Would like, you, no, no, that's not so, a teenager thing. That's so, a Reagan thing. Okay. So I was like, so I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to teach you a lesson. I'll put the padlock on, snap it shut. And I'm like, I'm going to go in the house, leave it out there for like 15 minutes or so, teach her a lesson. So I go in the house, and I'm like, what am I going to do for 15 minutes while I, you know, so I watch TV? Turn it on, flipping channels. Oh, Jaws is on. So I start watching it. I'm like, oh, this is an easy way to pass 15 minutes. <laughs> An hour later, when Jaws ends, I'm like, that's a damn good movie. Oh, whoops. <laughs> so I get My out. locked yeah, in a cage yeah, outside. Yeah, so I go outside, and there she is sitting down crying. And I was like, man, I'm going to have a hard time explaining this to my parents when they get home. Wow. <laughs> yeah. But it just goes to show you, Jaws is just so damn rewatchable. It makes you forget about everything. Well, you know the moral of that story that I picked up? Uh-huh. When Chris tells you to get out of the cage, you get the hell out of the damn cage. <laughs> That's what you do. I have zero recollection of this story. Well, it happened. Zero? You know, you zero. say that every time I tell a story you? about you, people think I'm making this up. But that, that happened. I, I swear that happened. And it was you sure it was me and not yeah, one of the other sisters? Yeah, it was you. Sisters? Yep, 100% positive. Okay. Yes, because I got in trouble. So, yeah, oh, it was you. You got in trouble? Yeah, because you told on me. Yeah, but... Because you're a snitch. You often oh, did snitch. not get in trouble for anything. Oh, don't go... We're not going to dredge up. Oh, shit, that have little kid. Because uh, <laughs> that's... that's a, we can make that a whole... We can yeah, that's that, a whole nother show. That's a whole show. Yeah, we can make that a whole show. <laughs> he literally just dredged up shit that happened when we were kids. It was a story it about was a him funny watching story. Jaws. Yeah, it was a funny story. Okay. Yeah. Oh, also, another funny story about Jaws. When you watch the... Uh, if you have the Blu-ray, and you watch the... Uh, there's a Making of Jaws documentary... And, uh, you know, Steve Spielberg, he's so woke now. You know, he's so PC. Uh, but it's all an act. Because there's a part where what they did was, um, in order to film a live shark in some parts, you know, the, you know, the part at the end where uh, Hooper goes into the cage, you know, and the shark attacks the cage. Well, what they did was they had 14, you know, they didn't have 25-foot great white sharks to film. They only right. had 14-foot great white sharks. So what they did was they got a midget and put him in a little tiny cage so that when the fourteen foot shark swam by him, it looked like it was bigger. Stop. Okay, so that's how. They, so that that was one of the techniques they used to make it look like a giant shark. So Steven Spielberg is describing this in the making of, right? So he's like, "Yeah, we took, you know, he's trying to be PC. He, he goes, uh, yeah, we took a little person and we put him in a little midget, I mean, in a little tiny cage. It's like, oh nope, Freudian slip there, Spielberg. We got you. You busted. You're not woke. He yep. said the word midget. Yeah, he said Watch midget. Out, yep. 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 That's crazy. Oh, I just thought that was funny. Silly. Yep. Oh, you know what? This is a good time to point out. I've always wanted to uh, put this out there in the airwaves or in the public. There's there's a movie that is always listed on any list that's ever given professionally. Like, you know, say, this is the 250 greatest movies ever made. This is the 100 greatest movies ever made. Whatever. The number one movie is always listed as Citizen Kane. Orson Welles, Citizen Kane. It's always listed as the number one movie. Really? Of all time. Why do you think that is? Because I know people, you have a theory. Yeah, I do have a theory. It's because people are full of shit. They are lying. There is not a single... <laughs> I promise you, there is not a single person who fucking watches Citizen Kane over and over again and goes, this is the greatest movie ever made. Right. Because it ain't. It right. ain't. It, that movie is a drudge. I had to force myself to watch it. It took two attempts. Yeah. And I had to force myself to watch it the second time just because it was such a famous movie. And I felt like if I was going to talk about movies, you know, in my life, I needed to see what everybody said was the greatest movie ever made. And I realized that everyone was lying because <laughs> what happens is they hear someone else say this is the greatest movie ever made. So they're so like, they well, I have it. to say it yeah. so that it seems like I know what I'm talking about. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some good acting in the movie. There's some great use of lighting. 
and there's some excellent camera movements, camera angles used in the movie. So, you know, the directing, you know, spectacular. I'm not arguing that. But it, the movie itself is boring as fuck. Mm. And it has one of the biggest plot holes that no one ever seems to discuss, which is the whole, you know, Rosebud thing. This guy says Rosebud, it's his dying word, Rosebud. And so there's a reporter trying to, he's like sort of like looking over his life, trying to figure out who Rosebud is and why that was his last words. But the thing is, when the guy dies and says Rosebud, there's no one else in the room. <laughs> so there's no possible way anyone knows what his last word is. Plus, you find out that Rosebud is a fucking sled yeah. that he played with as a kid. So, like, you watch this boring-ass movie, and it's for nothing. It's for nothing. So anyone who says Citizen Kane is the greatest movie of the time is full of it. I just right. want to go ahead and say that right, right. now. Full of it. The, you, you know what I think the worst movie of all time is? Lost in Translation. Oh, my God. That is another movie that people lie and say they like. They do. Yep, they do and not that's like why that movie. I, That's why yeah. I thought of it, because you mentioned that yeah. everybody's lying and saying that. People, this movie won all kinds of awards and stuff. And it's the most terrible garbage you've ever seen in your life. Have you seen it? You remember that movie? I remember hating it. Oh, my gosh. It was horrid. I almost took a bat to my TV for showing <laughs> me that movie. Yes. I was like, we've been through a lot together, you son of a bitch. Why would you allow that to play? <laughs> right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, everyone says, oh, they're lying. There's no, there's no possible way they liked it. There is no, no it's, possible way. It's just it was just a big snooze fest. Other people were saying they liked it, so they said they liked Maybe it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe all of the people who voted for that movie suffered from insomnia, huh. and that movie put them straight to sleep. <laughs> yeah, they're like, right? oh, it's the greatest In movie. In which case, it's the greatest movie that's, ever. Yep, well, right? that, if that, that might actually be the answer. That's, that's the reason. That's, this could, movie that's the only possible sleep. answer. Oh, terrible. The only possible actually, answer. Actually, I have a funny movie story as well. <laughs> Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Honey, you remember when we saw the Titanic? Oh, do I? <laughs> so, <laughs> my wife and I, we used to be young and in love and <laughs> didn't, didn't suffer from so many children <laughs> so we uh we worked in the casino business a lot and because of that i guess after we would get off of work we enjoyed a little gambling we like to play cards we like okay. to she liked to spend the little slot machines and stuff so sure there was <clears throat> one night where we went gambling somewhere in kinder in kinder at Kushala. And we did an all-nighter. And I think we left there. It was like daytime when we walked out of there. Eight o'clock in the morning or so. And we're coming back home. We passed through Lafayette. And falling asleep. Like, I think we had an, a, an appointment or something that we had to go to somewhere. And we had to pass time. No, I think we were just on the way home and realized... We could not make it. Home. Yeah, because we were so sleepy yeah. that it just wasn't working out. Right. So we decided we were going to go and sit in the movie theater and let the time pass, try to take a break from driving in the car. Mm -hmm. And we went to see Titanic. We said, hey, that, right. we could see that movie. It was great. And we saw the first five minutes of that movie, and both of us were passed smooth out. In that theater. We really? slept through that entire well, movie. That is not a fair... And the usher came and woke us up and told us we had to go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you were already exhausted before you got... So that's not an indication that that no, movie... No, it's not no, an we indication that the movie, movie was bad. I love oh, the movie. Oh, you're just saying that But you it's saw, a funny okay, story because we it. looked like two homeless people <laughs> right. getting kicked out of the right. movie theater because we went in to go sleep. Like, you that's know? how exhausted right. we were. We And right. we didn't plan on sleeping. Like, that's just how tired <laughs> we were. Right. Went to a matinee just to... Kind of give us a break from the drive. And right. embarrassed when the man wakes you up with his flashlight. Yeah, that would be embarrassing. Was, that would be embarrassing. Horrible. Although I don't really think anybody else was in the theater. No, it was a matinee, so it there was, was, a was there, like sure. only two people in there anyway. Yeah, you know? he was a jackass. Could well, just let us oh, sleep. Oh, he could have let you sleep. Yeah, that's right. No, that's right. We paid right. for it, right? Yeah, Although we're gonna show the movie, the movie was anyway. <laughs> no, we, we woke up. We woke up at the end. It was sinking. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. And we were like, we don't want to watch the end. We're going to no, eventually yeah. want to see the movie. So we had got up and left. Yeah, that's, that's true. Crazy. That's crazy. That's true. But anyway. I'm no, that's right. No, that's right. No, yeah, that's funny. All right. So I'm going to give my honorable mentions real quick. And then oh, I'm gonna oh, go ahead. I didn't, and then, I didn't no, even no. know you weren't done. I, I'm I mean, so No, 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 no. My apologies. This is how this works. We just uh, we just talked. Yeah. So I'm going to give my honorable mentions. And I'm going to go ahead and give my uh, recommendation for the week. You know, 
So, uh, my honorable mentions are Noises Off, which I recommended uh, last week, I believe. Funniest comedy of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, Blowout, starring John Travolta. John Lithgow. John Lithgow. Uh, directed by Brian De Palma. I don't think I've ever seen that. Have well, you ever seen that? No, never. I was it's, actually, it's, I'm going to recommend that one week. Uh, that's <laughs> that's an amazing movie it's, for a lot of reasons. It's a thriller. It gets taught. There's a lot of excellent use of camera. Uh, next is uh, Back to the Future. One of the that also is one of the most rewatchable movies of all time. I feel one of the yeah, one of the greatest. I, I agree with that. Yeah, uh, time travel movies for sure. That's we had the most fun yep. when we got to oh. watch that. Oh yeah, uh, on October fifteenth, they they um, what year was it? Two thousand fifteen, yeah. where where they actually went to the future. Nineteen fifty five. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when that yeah, so they actually showed all three movies back to back in the theater. It was pretty fun. We got to go. And they watch gave it. snacks out. Yeah, I mean, was, concessions were the price. That they were in the 80s. Yeah, it was amazing. It was awesome. Uh, okay, so next you movie that was on your list, uh, North by Northwest. It's an honorable mention. Mm -hmm. And a movie that was on your list, for God's sakes, uh, Rocky. Wow. It was my honorable mention. You actually yeah. like the same movie your sister liked? Can't liked. believe it. Probably never happened again. That's so uh, real. Tootsie, and I'm surprised Tootsie's not lastly, on the list. Lastly, uh, Rio Bravo, which I consider to be oh, the greatest Western, Western ever made. Yeah. I love Western. Oh, you know what I got to say before? Oh, my God, we're going to run long tonight, but uh, that's all right. I gotta, I gotta tell a story about something, never-ending story. I've been mm. wanting to say this for quite a while. That was probably one that was on my you wife's list. And she probably took it or, off. Or my son, Reese. Do you have a list? You want to share with us your list? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. He's, he's the tech guy. Yeah, he's here. No, he I told me know. a couple that he likes. Oh, what? Dark Crystal was one. That's correct. That is a very good movie. And, and so then, is Never-ending Story. No matter what is coming out of your right. mouth, Chris, well, it is we a good have movie. Okay. Let me Lord tell you. of the Rings, too, right? You're not oh, letting him I'm tell sorry. Movies. Well, he said no. He he said well, he's, he's not mic'd up, so yeah. you know, it's hard for him. There are a few movies that I'm shocked that no one has talked about on oh. any of the lists. Let's hear uh, The Thing. The, uh, the original. Yeah, thing. okay. The original thing? Or, John Carpenter's remake. You're talking about John Carpenter's remake. Both, I think, are good. Yeah. Uh, and then Alien. Oh, uh, that's that you're is, right. Why is Alien not on one of my lists? I didn't hear it from anybody. Well, because you're it right. doesn't take place well, underwater in a mechanical ship. I don't. Right? Know. Although he, <laughs> he does, he does love Alien. I do love yeah. Alien. The whole trilogy. Oh, super. Mm. Nah, super good. First two movies only for me. No, first I like all of them, only. dude. I'm I'm a big fan of all of them. Sigourney and Weaver. Jurassic Park. All right. I'm hey. Yeah. Hey, we should you should have done a list, man. That's that was pretty yeah. good. That's he, just yeah. did. he just well, did. Well, you should you should have been more willing to do this. I only thought of it after y'all had finished. Man, it. yeah, no, those are good no, movies. That's great. Those are good, good movies. Very good choices. Yep. Good, good. All right, now I'm gonna blow everyone's mind <laughs> with this never ending story. This is a, this is a hot take. This is a hot take on never ending story, but it is absolutely the truth. Okay, so everybody prepare yourselves. Falcor, the luck <laughs> dragon. He looks child. like a big giant dog. He is a child predator. Okay? <laughs> He's a child predator. All right? Watch him. Whenever Atreyu comes in, the looks that he gives that boy are totally inappropriate. And then whenever he's like, come over here and rub me on this spot. And then so Atreyu's like rubbing on him. He's going, oh, I'm, oh, I'm a lucky dragon. Oh, I'm such a lucky dragon. <laughs> okay? Every time I watch that movie... I say to myself, don't worry, Atreyu. I'm about to call social services. Someone needs to check that dragon's laptop. Okay? <laughs> that he check that is a laptop. that is a pedophile dragon, if I, I have know. ever seen one. Well, unless his penis is on his side, All I'm I pretty can, sure Atreyu's okay. You don't, know, you don't know what turns on a dragon, where you rub a dragon to turn on one. I'm wherever, wherever, wherever Atreyu was rubbing, that was the spot. And anybody who thinks that I'm full of shit, everybody's like, oh, no, I've seen him never saw a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I challenge you to rewatch that movie and tell me that I am making this up. No. Child Predator, Dragon. We were watching that with our kids this week. Well, don't yeah, watch it with your kids. Don't it. watch it with your kids. I am watching it with my kids. Because if dragons are, are child bet? predators, they need to you're, know. You're right. Yeah, that's exactly correct. So, You know, you asking them to rewatch it to check for that is unfortunately skewing the results. Because they're watching it to look for that. Well, of course they're going to see it more often. And it still counts. It still counts. I just want to <laughs> prove to everyone that I am right. So it doesn't matter if it's skews it. I am right. So. I have to say, though, when you go back years later as an adult and watch something, you are amazed at how differently you look at something. That is right. Nope, that's right. That's right. Me and Bodie, 
each used to like Urban Cowboy, love Urban oh, Cowboy. Oh, yeah. I mean, we thought, wow, this is a great movie. And a few months ago, we decided, hey, Urban Cowboy's on, let's watch it. And at the end of the movie, we both looked at each other and went, oh my God, how <laughs> fucked up is this movie and how did we ever like it? Like, this is a horrible movie. It is. If you're trying to learn how relationships go, that's not, that's the, not movie, the movie. That's not the movie, yep. My gosh, the shit that they did to one another was just totally crazy. My goodness. That's yep. another one I haven't seen. It's te- it's bad. Like, I mean, just, I don't know how I ever liked it. Like, I clearly just did not realize how yeah. bad it was. No, I liked it when I was younger as well. I also liked mm. it. Yeah. yeah, well, you should watch it with her because right. it's it is crazy. Right. Yeah. Let me ask you this question. Yes. <laughs> it's funny because we went, we used to go to the movies a lot more often. We haven't been to a movie or a theater probably in. I, I know. Can't even I know because when that girl got years. shot in Lafayette, I quit going to the movies. Yeah. I, that's our true story. Yeah. Tragic. Okay. So we actually went to a movie one time, and we were at the at the box office trying to decide what to watch. She wanted to go see a movie that was called G.I. Jane. Oh, my God. And I didn't want to. I said, G.I. Jane? Right. Really? Yep. How girly is that? There's no way. No way. Well, you know, the woman, happy wife, happy life, that whole thing. Yep. I said, okay, whatever. Let's go see G.I. Jane. Stupid movie. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I wanted to go see something that was really good. You know, Something with a submarine. So we go sit in G.I. Jane. (laughs) At the end of that movie, <laughs> something with a submarine, yeah. <laughs> At the end of that movie, I loved it. I loved it. What? I thought it was great. What? I thought it was a really good movie. You didn't think it was a good movie? Did no. you see it? No, yes. yes. Why did you see it? Well, because I was just, it was a big buzz, and I was like, what's everybody talking about? So I watched it. So you watched I didn't it. go to the theater and watch it. I watched it at home. Like, it And you on. didn't like it? Nope. I did. I enjoyed it. I thought the very end, whenever uh, they were in the battle sequence, whatever, and all the Navy SEALs were like, holy shit, what do we do? And the woman was like, I'll tell you what we do. I, thought, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't know if that's how it goes down. Oh, so you needed it to be more real. That's correct. Yeah, because Less he's fictional. been on battlefields and stuff, you know? <laughs> hey, my life is a battlefield. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Pat Benatar. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> All right. So, uh, oh, excuse wow. me. Somebody mentioned something earlier about a uh, a T-Rex. Oh, thought of the day. <laughs> thought of the day. Let's do it. Okay, yes. so I was just thinking, I don't know why this popped into my head, but why did T-Rexes have such small arms? I mean, Clearly, it just makes no sense. It is just disproportionate <laughs> to their bodies. So then I started wondering, like, how tough did they have it when they were young? Did they get bullied by the other dinosaurs? Well, I don't know how tough they had it when they were young, but I guarantee you they had it really tough when they were older because they couldn't masturbate. <laughs> they can't reach their pee-pee. Yes, I got it. Oh, you! I I thought you needed me to lay it out for you, because you were thinking how bad they were getting bullied in school because they had little arms. Yeah, (laughs) in dinosaurs. That was the least of their problems. I wonder if they could stick the bird with those little hands. Nope, they couldn't because they only had two fingers. Three. I read they had three. Well, they didn't. They had two. Because he's an expert, you forgot that. And he knows everything. You can Google it if you want to, oh, but he so, always is right. I am so good at this. <laughs> I think we, what are we doing? Recommendation? Gonna, she's going to Google I was gonna like do a, I was going to do a movie recommendation, yes. So, I'm going to recommend a Western this week. Ah, uh, good yes. to bad and the ugly. Uh, no, no. Uh, Once again, recommend a, a Western that uh, I don't think people are aware of. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, hidden this Gems. Is actually- you, you this is a good one. You think everybody's seen The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly? No, not that probably they've not. seen it, but that you, they've you know probably heard it is, of it. Right? They've probably heard of it. Yeah, The Good, and The Bad, and The Ugly. That's one of the most famous <laughs> westerns of all time. Oh, rightfully so. Is. I mean, rightfully right. so. It, Don't amazing. get me wrong. Yeah, amazing. I love it, but I'm just saying, that's not the kind of movie that I recommend. I understand. I told I was, you. I'm, before today's episode, yes. I wasn't really following what this was. Okay. Now I understand. All right. So I'm on the board. Okay. So the movie I'm recommending this week is uh, The Quick and the Dead, which was made in 1995. Uh, starring Sharon Stone, Russell Crowe, Gene Hackman, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
It's a you know it's your typical revenge western movie. You know Sharon Stone's out to get a little revenge on Gene Hackman, mm-hmm. who's like an evil sheriff. And uh, it's just a you know she shows up to the town where he is, and there's a uh, they hold a uh, a quick draw competition every year, uh, which Gene Hackman participates in because he's the fastest. And uh, it's his way of uh, preventing people from trying to show up and shoot him in the back. He says that way they come face to face, and he's able to you know stay alive that way. Sure. Cause he's hated because he's a mm-hmm. he's an evil bastard. So yeah. it's just about uh, her showing up and then the competition and you know uh, the other people in the competition and how they interact in the town and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty damn good movie. It's stylized. Sam Raimi directed it. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, yeah, I've know, seen I, it. It's yeah, a good movie. I really enjoyed. It. Yeah, I really enjoyed. Um, I only thought I, I I've, I've only. When I think of Sharon Stone, there's only one movie that I thought she was ever in. <laughs> no, there's really only one scene you ever thought she was right, in. Right, right. That's correct. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know she was in other movies. Yeah, right, right. right. What are you going to do? Arrest me for smoking? <laughs> oh, you like that scene as well, right? Eh? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know she had lines. <laughs> So, uh, oh, before we uh, before we sign off, I just want to say this is the last episode, which will be in September and next month, my favorite month of the year, October. I will be uh, watching a different horror movie every night of the week. So uh, what I'll do is um, every day I will post whatever movie is going to be that night. I will post on our Facebook page for Mike Up or Shut Up. I like. So we'll, I'll I'll usually do it around noon. Whenever I'm, you know, away from, later. yeah, around noon, because I'll, then I'll be away from work. I can go ahead and post it up. So, watch for that. I'll do a movie every single day. For the thirty-one entire, movies of Halloween. Thirty-one movies. Yep, at least thirty-one. Sometimes I do double features. How many years so, is this? Uh, I started in two thousand and fourteen. Nice. So yeah. So, so math is hard. No math is right. hard. So Nine start, years. So. Yeah. So, uh, look out for that. Okay. Start, uh, next month. And you can check our Twitter feed. And That's our, right. Yeah, uh, we'll also Facebook yeah page we'll also uh, yeah we're um, we're also uh, we're, of course we're on Spotify, but we're also on Amazon Music, uh, Audible, and uh, Radio Public. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Yep. So. More to come. Yeah. Multi platform. That's it. And yeah, we'll be we'll be uh we'll be expanding to other platforms as time goes on. But this is where we are right now. And so. we'd really really love for y'all to get on our Facebook page because we. Would love to hear some topics maybe y'all sure. would like to hear discussed. Yeah. Uh, opinions you have. We'd love to, you know, give you our opinion of your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, really that's, that's where it comes yeah. in, yeah. Absolutely. No, feedback is always welcome. Feedback is always, We're going to start putting polls up every week that you can uh, go ahead and participate in. We've had a couple up so far, so. Yep. yep. So apparently yep. you do not know everything. That's what people think. Yeah, that's, that's what, what people think. Yeah. Although I that's never claimed, I never claimed to know everything. You, yeah, you put but out I still, there that I, I still know stand by. All right, wait, well, hey, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to argue. Like with you. <laughs> I still stand yes. by it. You know everything, bud. Appreciate it. So yeah, hit that uh, five star review for us. You know, like if this. you feel so compelled to support the podcast, there's a link in the description of each one of the episodes that you can click, click to uh, show your support. Um, we appreciate you. And this is Big Dog, Big Dog. Tell your friends to listen. <laughs> tell your friends, tell your family. Yep. All right, Michael, we shut up out. <laughs> <laughs>